G'day Seagulls fans and welcome to Seagulls TV for our team announcement video for round nine. This Sunday we've got Footscray out at VU Witten Oval and joining me as always to take us to all the action is football manager Chris Dixon. Chris, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're off for a week's break, all, all except for six of our players of course who represented the VFL really well on the weekend. And all came back uh, unhinged, I guess, which was really important for us. It's always the worry, um, yeah, the might pop an injury. But um, look, they all played really well. Obviously, highlighted by Gibbo winning the Frank Johnson medal, which is a great achievement for him. So he's starting to get a bit of a reputation for a, a big game player, which is no doubt helping him. But disappointing, obviously, for the Vicks to go down. But uh, obviously, really proud of the way the boys went about it. Now we'll get straight into the team this week and as we look at the defence, uh, nice to have Vice-Captain Cameron Lockwood back in the side after uh, returning from his suspension. Yeah, it sort of feels like it's a while ago now, I guess with the extra buy in there, it's probably um, his rare to go, so it feels like he's missed a fair bit of footy, so he just no doubt gives us that stability um, down there as well, so it's great to have him back in the mix and looking forward to seeing him play some good footy. And in the midfield is where we'll spend the bulk of our discussion today with uh, both Nick Meese and Ed Carr, both uh, racking up their 100th VFL game uh, this week. It's a huge accomplishment for both those boys. Yeah, so I, th I think in today's VFL football, it shouldn't be underestimated. Um, player turnover is just huge these days. I think hopefully now that we're standing alone, we start to see more and more 100 game players for the club. Um, but it's just a phenomenal achievement for both of the guys. Um, two different stories. Both have had really interesting journeys along the way and certainly plenty of challenges. Um, both had to sort of fight for their senior spot and um, throughout a, probably a wide, um, throughout a few different years, um, so obviously they sort of established themselves straight away. So um, obviously Macy just sort of come across here, um, I remember sort of was playing development footy at the Northern Bull Ants at the stage and it's incredible to think that sort of he's been team of the year for the last couple of years and now the state ruckman and obviously a premiership player. So it's a, I think he's a player who's really respected competition wide, um, just the way he goes about it, often giving up height to a lot of other opponents and um, he's just a great, great bloke on and off the field and been a great asset for us. And Ed, I think we'll probably acknowledge it more next week with this 100th Williamstown game. Of course, he played a game for Casey when he was uh, under 18 to Gippsland Power. So I think he's more looking forward to <laughs> the following week and playing 100 Williamstown games and getting life membership. But look, it's, he's been an incredible person in our football club. He's been here seven years now and been a real leader on and off the field. Um, as I said, he's had to sort of fight through plenty of challenges on the way, um, had to work really hard to win, I guess, the respect of both coaches that he's played under. Um, but he's someone who just puts his heart and soul every time he steps out on the field. And it's a really wonderful achievement. And look, no doubt they'll both be tracking pretty hard and we'll be doing what we can to get a win from him. We wish him all the best on the weekend. And at the, other, at the opposite end of the spectrum, we've got Lockie Schiltz coming back in for his second uh, VFL game. His 23rd player must be exciting to have him back in the side. It's been really promising at development level. We've played some really good games. We've just probably, with our 23rds this year, has been a bit of horses for courses. So um, it's been good with sort of Christian Pukes been sort of playing the last three games where we've come up against taller opponents in the front end. So it's great for Locke to sort of come back in and get a really good opportunity. So I think it's going to be a really good day for him. I think the way the game's going to pan out is going to suit him really well. And he's coming off really good form as well. So looking forward to seeing him back out there. And our opponents, Footscray, sitting sixth, I believe, at the moment. Uh, what can we expect out of them on their home deck on Sunday? I think they're just starting to get rolling, so they've probably had a bit of a slow start to the year. The last three games have been really impressive. Um, had a really good win against Essendon. So there's going to be plenty of players there that have, um, I guess, worn the wings and jump as well. So we'll know a few guys about there. Um, Shawnee White's in really good form, who obviously played here, one of the development best and fairest. Uh, Simon Deary and plenty of the other, I guess, Footscray boys who play with us during the alignment, so it's always a, a good game to watch, as plenty of the boys know each other and um, there's a fair bit of the app out on the field as always, but we know what to expect from Footscray, they're one of those sides, no matter who's on the field from, they're just really hard at it, um, really got to be admired in the way they continue to compete and that's why you see a lot of their games, they're always pretty close and they'll always be in it for a fight, so last year we had a really good result against them at the Wind Noble, um, but then they got it out of Burbank over later in the year, so Really looking forward to hopefully bringing our contested footy in, trying to get, hopefully that goes a long way to getting us the, the result that we're after. Absolutely, so this weekend is another split weekend. Our development side travels out to Werribee to face Werribee at 11am on Saturday and then uh, we've got an early game for our seniors at 11am on Sunday at the Witten Oval. So love your support, so come out and uh, get around us as we look to bounce back after the loss against Collingwood. So Chris, you'd be hoping for a, yeah, a good seagull turnout there on the weekend. Yeah, certainly, and I think um, it's one of those unfortunate things about a loss before a bye week. You sort of have to sit on and stew with it for a couple of weeks. So 
hopefully our boys have come and um, we've really been pleased with the way we responded after the poor, poor performance each time this year. So the boys are keen, they're ready to go, um, especially I guess those guys in the state game come off two losses, so <laughs> they won't want to drop three in a row. So, but looking forward to seeing plenty of Seagulls fans out there. It's um, Obviously the Western rival, r- rivalry continues to build, so we want to see plenty of blue and gold cheering the boys on and hopefully we get the result. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone, and we'll see you out there on uh, Sunday.